Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, it's been away. I was at the Boxing Bookie. was at the uh, Jamel Herring fight in New York City. Um, that was fun. Um, let's get into today's show. Uh, we've got a good one for you today. It is uh, Shakur Stevenson versus De Los Santos. Um, world title fight, 135 pounds. We're going to get into that. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single big fight, uh, showing you how to take down the house. Um, we don't gamble here, but if you do, there's money to be made in boxing. Uh, the odds makers, the book keep, the bookmakers don't know anything um, about handicapping the sport. I do. I'm going to show you how to make money on this consistently. And we've been so red hot. Uh, we've been so red hot. And we're just going to keep it going. And, and that's what we're looking to do. Uh, we're definitely going to keep it keep it moving, uh, keep it going, show you guys how to make a, a, another income just betting on boxing. Uh, because if you do it consistently, we're going to show you how to make a ton of money. All right, let's get into today's fight. Uh, Shakur Stevenson, Edwin De, uh, De Los Santos. Um, I, I like De Los Santos to a degree. Um, you know, Southpaw, good athlete, good movement, good pop. Has uh, was 14 knockouts in his 16 wins. Uh, he's got good wins. His last two fights over uh, Jose Venezuela. Um, that was on a PBC card in which he looked spectacular. Um, scored a, a quick knock. He got knocked down. It got back up. Scored a knockdown in the second, I want to say. Finished him in the third. I think that's right. Uh, we also, before that, had a win over Acosta. Um, that was two undefeated guys he beat around. And then he came back and he outclassed Joseph Adorno. In a fight I didn't love. He won. He beat Adorno wide. Uh, but he seemed to struggle. In it. He, he seemed to struggle through it a bit. He wasn't very active. He didn't throw a whole bunch. Uh, he, he was boxing more, and it didn't really fit him. Um, and uh, if you go earlier into 2022, before the Acosta fight, he lost to William Foster the uh, third. I think William Foster the third is is an exceptionally talented fighter. Uh, well, he's just coming off a, a, a competitive loss to Henry LeBron <clears throat> after just two months after destroying Messiah Lopez. Um, so he's kind of all over the place and I, I, I do think he's a good fighter. Um, when he is throwing in volume, when he is coming forward, he likes to be off the front foot. Like I said, he's got good pop. I think he's good. Uh, he rips shots. Um, he, you know, he, he puts some good mustard on his shots. Uh, he does get a little reckless. He's going to leave himself open. Um, you know, he's in a tough spot because Shakur Stevenson is so good. Uh, Shakur Stevenson is such a master. And if he wants to box Shakur Stevenson like he did at Donald, he's going to lose every round because you can't, you know, it's like having Steph Curry in a three-point contest. You're just going into his hands. It's not going to work. If he does open up, he has a chance to catch him, but he's going to get picked apart because, he's, like I said, he, he gets a little reckless sometimes. He throws wide. He's fast and he's athletic, and he, I don't know, he may have a moment or two with Shakur, uh, but it's just going to be really, really tough to, to, to think he's going to overwhelm. Shakur Stevenson. Um, you know, does he want to get out boxed, or does he want to get picked? Up, you know, or, or does he want Shakur to, to counter him to death and uh, you know catch him coming in? Um, as far as Shakur Stevenson, you know, he, he he is what he is. You know, he's not the most exciting fighter. He's not going to score a bunch of sensational knockouts. Although he did stop Jamel Herring. Um, I, he may get a late stoppage in this fight, but I'm going to bet against it. Uh, but we're going to show you that. Uh, I think the best money on this fight is Shakur Stevenson on points. Uh, I think Shakur Stevenson on points right now is kind of the obvious bet. Um, you know, he's just a better boxer. You know, Devin Haney versus Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson on points. Shakur Stevenson versus whoever. The answer is Shakur Stevenson on points is, is probably the best bet. Um you know, kind of like Whitaker and Floyd Mayweather and uh, those guys. He's, of course, Stevenson is, is approaching that way. It's just too hard to beat him. Um, you know, if, if, if Adorno caused uh, Dallas Santos to shell up a bit, 
because he didn't like being countered. Imagine what Shakur's going to do to him. And I don't think De Los Santos sucks. I think he's good. I just think this is a uh, – Shakur Stevenson is just a nightmare. Uh, so let's let, let's take a look at what I'm looking at. Let's let's see how to make money on this. Um, so you had to bring down the house on this. All right. <clears throat> so there's two bets. Two ways I bet this. Um, Shakur Stevenson is minus 1,200. $100 I'll bet makes you $8. I'm not really interested in that. Okay. Uh, what I am interested in is this over 10.5. It's minus 475. $100 I'll bet's going to make you $21. And Shakur Stevenson winning by decision is going to make you $37. So that's uh, $58.08 out of $200 I'll bet. So it's basically paying you about 4 to 1 if Shakur Stevenson wins his decision, which I think is kind of the obvious bet. Um, again, this is not great money. This is not sensational money. It's not going to make you rich on this one. But this is, I think, this is easy money. You know, like I said, if, if you had to bet this, if you had to say what, what do you, what's the most likely outcome? You would say Shakur Stevenson on points. Shakur Stevenson on points is not paying terrible money. All right, we're going to get you know better than you know uh, <coughs> fifty eight dollars on a Twitter dollar bet. Um, I wouldn't make any of these two times because I said, you know, Shakur could potentially stop him late. I don't see that happening. I think this is the best bet. But Shakur Stevenson on the money line at minus 1,200 is just not worth it. I mean, you could do it if you want. Uh, it's just not worth it. It's going to make an additional 8 bucks on a $100 bet. I wouldn't do it. Um, uh, it's not, it doesn't hedge anything. It just doesn't really do anything for you. I, I don't even think the odds are inappropriate because De Los Santos really has no chance of, of winning this fight. Um, so that's what we're looking at. Uh, I know this is not the best one. I know it's not making you the most money. Uh, but Shakur Stevenson is that good. You can make a little bit of money on it and move on to the next one. Like I said, if you follow me the last couple of weeks, we've been absolutely killing it. Absolutely killing it. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please follow the box of bookie all home social media, 3D boxing, 3D boxing blog. Also, uh, quick hits. Um, I'm sorry. Also, uh, the other channel, Texas Boxing, see on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is November 10th, 2023. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.